Hello everybody, Toasted Baby here with another tutorial. This time, as I mentioned in my Toasted Plays episode, I have come up with a tileable uh, triple piston extender, as you can see from the lovely sign here. And it is the uh, portcullis or falling sand door type triple piston extender. So it's not triple sticky, but it's still triple. So if we do this, just put a lever here, do that, triple piston, and you close it, comes down, and as you can see, so we have that, and then we have gravel right there. Uh, you have to use the um, gravity affected blocks. Let's do that, and it pushes it up, and then if you turn it off again, then you have the gap. And it's uh, the type of door, it's the uh, portcullis or falling sand door. This is my very, very old design. I made this quite a while ago, so this is the concept of it. So sand pushes the blocks up, you walk through, and then it can close behind you. I've used this many times, but this is my old system that I use. It's very big, very bulky. And then over here, it's uh, not quite as big, but uh, it's uh, one wide for each different part, and there's no extra wiring. So let's go ahead and build it. This is a side profile view of it, as you can see. It's extended there, and then pulled down there. So go ahead and build it. So you start with the block down here, and then you do torch on top, torch on the side. It starts out very similar to my uh, double piston, double sticky piston extender. And you put a torch there, block on top, another torch out. Just a, it's a lot of uh, torch ladders. And you put a block on top of that, torch on the side. And you're gonna want two blocks here, and then a torch coming out the side, and torch under there where the pistons go. So go ahead and put the pistons on. It's two sticky, and then one regular piston. And then from this torch, you have two repeaters. The first one on full delay, second one on two ticks delay, and then you put a block on top of that, torch coming out this way, and then block on top of there, torch coming out the back, and then another block on top of that torch, and then it comes out this side, block on top of that torch, and then an off torch there. And then you need to have uh, this block here because this is what powers the top piston when it's fully extended. So that is that side of the uh, system. Now let's go to the monostable circuit over here. You have the block leading out from this torch that also powers the bottom piston. You want to have one repeater with full delay on it, a block going there, and then a torch coming out of there, and then this leads into the monostable circuit. It has a torch on top, torch on the side. You want a block on top of the side torch, another torch coming out of that block, then a block on top of that. A repeater leading out from that uh, block and then a block on top of this torch, and then a torch on the side, and then you want a tor or a block on top of that torch, so right there, and then a block right uh, next to the pistons, and then a repeater with uh, repeater next to the piston with a two tick delay. So, and then if we go ahead and uh, swap that for sand, put the sand there, and the uh, at the floor level would be right there. So that's where the floor would be. Put a lever here. Triple extends. Turn it off, and there it goes. So that is a tileable triple piston extender, the portcullis or falling sand door type. Um, you, this is just for the uh, system. Then you just hook it up to a T flip flop to change the signal around. So it either goes bottom or top to uh, close it again. So that has been the uh, triple piston extender. Thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you next time.